Did you know how the Windows operating system started? Today, technology is something people in modern times can no longer live without. Whether for school, work, or simply for entertainment, people are greatly dependent on the latest technologies. Keep watching to find out how the Windows operating system went from a simple interface to what you're familiar with using today. Windows 1 Windows 1 was introduced by Microsoft on November 20, 1985. It was Microsoft's first true attempt at a graphical user interface in 16-bit that needed less than one megabyte of memory. This operating system was designed for IBM-compatible computers. The development was spearheaded by Microsoft founder Bill Gates and ran on top of MS-DOS, which relied on command line input. It was notable because it relied heavily on the use of a mouse before the mouse was a common computer input device. To help users become familiar with this odd input system, Microsoft included a game, Reversi, that relied on mouse control to get people used to moving the mouse around and clicking on screen elements. Windows 2 Windows 2 was launched on December 9, 1987, two years after the release of Windows 1. This OS is also a 16-bit operating system. This version mainly focused on the speed and graphics of the OS. The big innovation for Windows 2 was that windows could overlap each other, and it introduced the ability to minimize or maximize windows instead of iconizing or zooming. The control panel, where various system settings and configuration options were collected together in one place, was introduced in Windows 2, which still exists to this day. The first Windows version of MS Word and MS Excel ran on Windows 2 as well. Windows 3 Windows 3 was launched on May 22, 1990, which brought about a major upgrade in Windows history. This version came out with a lot of enhanced features, including improved icons. This version supported 256 colors, bringing a more modern and colorful interface. Windows 3 was the first version to see more widespread success and be considered a challenger to Apple's Macintosh and the Commodore Amiga graphical user interfaces, coming pre-installed on computers from PC-compatible manufacturers, including Zenith Data Systems. Windows 3.1 Windows 1 and 2 both had point release updates, but Windows 3.1, released in 1992, is notable because it introduced true type fonts, making Windows a viable publishing platform for the first time. Minesweeper also made its first appearance here. Windows 3.1 required one megabyte of RAM to run and allowed supported MS-DOS programs to be controlled with the mouse for the very first time. Windows 3.1 was also the first Windows to be distributed on a CD-ROM. Although once installed on a hard drive, it only took up to 10 to 15 megabytes. It also had a Windows 3.11 update that came with 32-bit architecture known as Windows NT. Windows 95 Windows 95 arrived in August 1995 and introduced the first ever start button and start menu. It also introduced the concept of plug and play, which is to connect a peripheral and the operating system finds the appropriate drivers for it and makes it work. That was the idea, but it didn't always work in practice. Windows 95 also introduced a 32-bit environment, the taskbar, and focused on multitasking. MS-DOS still played an important role for Windows 95, which required it to run some programs and elements. Internet Explorer also made its debut on Windows 95, but it was not installed by default, requiring the Windows 95 Plus pack. Windows 98 Windows 98 launched on June 25, 1998, supports reading DVDs and USB drives, and was named Memphis. This version has a 32-bit edition and a 16-bit edition. Microsoft produced new features with this edition, such as disk cleanup, Windows Update, multi-monitor support, and internet sharing among others. Windows 98 also introduced the back and forward navigation buttons and the address bar in Windows Explorer. Windows ME Windows ME, released in September 2000, was considered a low point in the Windows series by many, at least until they saw Windows Vista. Windows Millennium Edition was the last Windows to be based on MS-DOS. It was the consumer-aimed operating system twinned with Windows 2000 aimed at the enterprise market. It introduced some important concepts to consumers, including more automated system recovery tools. IE 5.5, Windows Media Player 7, and Windows Movie Maker all made their appearance for the first time. Autocomplete also appeared in Windows Explorer, but the operating system was notorious for being buggy, failing to install properly, and being generally poor. Windows 2000 Windows 2000 Professional version was designed to replace all the previous versions on all business desktops because this edition was a business-oriented operating system. 
The Enterprise Twin of ME, Windows 2000, was released in February 2000 and was based on Microsoft's business-oriented system Windows NT and later became the basis for Windows XP. Microsoft's automatic updating played an important role in Windows 2000 and became the first Windows to support hibernation. This edition also introduced the NTFS 3.0 encrypting file system. The most notable improvement was the addition of plug-and-play with full ACPI and Windows driver model support. This version needed 256 megabytes of RAM and 5 gigabytes hard disk space for server. Windows XP Released in October 2001, Windows XP was arguably one of the best Windows versions and brought Microsoft's enterprise line and consumer line of operating systems under one roof. It was based on Windows NT, like Windows 2000, but brought more of the consumer-friendly elements from Windows ME. The Start menu and Taskbar got a visual overhaul, bringing the familiar green Start button, blue Taskbar, and Vista wallpaper, along with various shadows and other visual effects. ClearType, designed to make the text easier to read on LCD screens, was introduced, as were built-in CD burning, autoplay from CDs, and other media, plus various automated update and recovery tools that, unlike Windows ME, actually worked. Windows XP was the longest-running Microsoft operating system that saw three major updates and supports up until April 2014, 13 years from its original release date. Windows XP was still used on an estimated 430 million PCs when it was discontinued. This version's biggest problem was security. Though it had a firewall built in, it was turned off by default. Which Windows operating system were you most comfortable navigating? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. Windows Vista Windows Vista replaced Windows XP in January 2007. Vista updated the look and feel of Windows with more focus on transparent elements, search, and security. Its development under the codename Longhorn was troubled, with ambitious elements abandoned to get it into production. It was buggy and burdened the user with hundreds of requests for app permissions under user account control, which was the outcome of the Trustworthy Computing Initiative, which now meant that users had to approve or disapprove attempts by programs to make various changes. The problem with UAC was that it led to complacency, with people clicking yes to almost anything, taking security back to the pre-UAC state. It also ran slowly on older computers, despite them being deemed as Vista-ready. A good thing about it, though, was that PC gamers saw a boost from Vista's inclusion of Microsoft's DirectX 10 technology. Windows Media Player 11 and IE7 also debuted, along with Windows Defender, which is an anti-spyware program. Vista also included speech recognition, Windows DVD Maker, and Photo Gallery. Windows 7 Released in October 2009, many considered this edition as what Windows Vista should have been. It was intended to fix all the problems and criticism faced by Vista, with slight tweaks to its appearance and a concentration on user-friendly features and less dialog box overload. It was faster, more stable, and easier to use, becoming the operating system most users and businesses would upgrade to from Windows XP, forgoing Vista entirely. Handwriting recognition and the ability to snap windows to the tops or sides of the screen, allowing faster, more automatic window resizing debuted in Windows 7. Windows 7 saw Microsoft hit in Europe with antitrust investigations over the pre-installing of Internet Explorer, which led to a browser ballot screen being shown to new users allowing them to choose which browser to install on the first boot. Windows 8 Released on October 26, 2012, this OS introduced major changes to the operating system platform and user experience by including its tile-type start menu. It was Microsoft's most radical overhaul of the Windows interface, ditching the Start button and Start menu in favor of a more touch-friendly Start screen. Windows 8 was faster than previous versions of Windows and included support for the new, much faster USB 3.0 devices. The Windows Store, which offers universal Windows apps that run in full-screen mode only, was introduced. Programs could still be installed from third parties like other iterations of Windows, but they could only access the traditional desktop interface of Windows. Windows 8.1 a Freepoint release to Windows 8 introduced in October 2013, Windows 8.1 marked a shift toward yearly software updates from Microsoft and included the first step in Microsoft's U-turn around its new visual interface. Windows 8.1 reintroduced the Start button, which brought up the Start screen from the desktop view of Windows 8.1. Users could also choose to boot directly into the desktop of Windows 8.1, which was more suitable for those using a desktop computer with a mouse and keyboard than a touch-focused smart screen. 
Windows 10 Windows 10 is the latest Microsoft Windows version in the operating system market, which was released on July 29, 2015. Windows 10 came with lots of new features, such as support for universal apps, an expansion of the Metro-style apps, and users can transmit mouse-oriented interface and touch-based interface including their traditional start button. Windows 10 requires 32 gigabytes of free space on the hard disk and a minimum of 4 gigabytes of RAM to run smoothly. Microsoft designed this to be compatible with both touch and mouse-based devices. Windows 10 supports the latest DirectX 12 technology. Microsoft also improved Windows security with an integrated Windows Defender antivirus system and multi-factor authentication system for user login. Microsoft introduced Microsoft Edge web browser through Windows 10, which is faster than their previous Internet Explorer web browser. Windows 10 is still developing by Microsoft. Windows 11 Released on October 5, 2021, Windows 11 is a natural transition from Windows 10. Windows 11 features a streamlined new design with pastel-like colors and rounded corners and overall a more Mac-like look. The Windows Start menu has moved from the bottom of the screen to the middle with app icons arranged in the center next to it. Windows 11 comes with a brand new design and some updated features. The new system also includes a feature called Snap Groups, collections of the apps you're using at once that can sit in the taskbar and can come up or be minimized at the same time for easier task switching. You can also set up virtual desktops in a way that's more similar to Macs, toggling between multiple desktops at once for personal, work, school, or gaming use. Microsoft Teams will also be built directly into Windows 11, becoming a more FaceTime-like chat app. Visit our channel and subscribe for more of our videos if you enjoyed this one.